later that night. So it turns out this isn't Captain Olimar at all, but rather some other fellow named Louie. And I suppose that fuselage we saw must have been the remains of Olimar and Louie's ship. Seems like that huge monster really did a number on it, though. Food! Is that all you think about? Didn't we just feed you? Ah, uh, it's great to be reunited with my rubber ducky. With him by my side, I feel like I can achieve anything. Um, is anyone listening to me? Louis doesn't have our cosmic drive key. We need to find out if he knows where the real Olimar is. Day 16. Hello, everybody, it's Silvershoom, and welcome back to more Pikmin 3. In the last episode, we finished up operations in the Garden of Hope. And the Wink Pikmin thought it would be fun to jack the Blue Pikmin's boss corpse. Whatever. Gotta roll with the punches. And we've unlocked a new area, the Formidable Oak, and Louis is floating around in the ship. According to Louis, the real Almar is out there somewhere. We'll finally get our Cosmic Drive Key back. If what Louis says can be trusted, that is. Alright, let's move out. Okay, so, as you can see here, we actually collected every single fruit in the Garden of Hope. And if we go over to the Formidable Oak, you can see that there are no fruits here. We can actually go and finish the game right now. But I'm not going to do that. We, we're still missing two fruits in the Twilight River. Seven in the Distant Tundra. And eight in the Tropical Wild. So we have quite a bit more to do in those areas. Right after we check in. Those Pikmin are so brave and loyal. When I think about them fighting and risking their lives for us, it just tugs at my heartstrings. Yes, loyalty, dedication. I've always said that these are the most important things in life. Thought you said that food was the most important thing in life, Captain. Well, yes, of course, food too. And what about family or friends? Those are pretty important too, don't you think? Let's just pretend I didn't say anything else. <laughs> so, now that we've completed much of the story, the... The... The conversations will mostly just be miscellaneous stuff and not about the current situation. So how about we check in one more time to see what else we can get. So, Alf, your grandfather was the one who designed a spaceship, right? Ooh. Yes, the ship is actually named after him, too. His name is Drake. Really? So engineering skills run in your family, eh, Alf? Yep, I learned an awful lot watching my grandfather work while I was growing up. Well, I'm sure you've made him quite proud, son. Now let's make him prouder by returning him with some food. That a word? Prouder? It is, and I will. Okay, so, interest, interesting thing about that one. Pikmin 3 was originally going to have four playable captains. There, There is a piece of official artwork with four characters, Alf labeled A, Brittany labeled B, Charlie labeled C, and another character labeled D. So, many assumed that this character was going to be named Drake, and they carried it over to the ship. Also, that character looked quite a bit like Louie, so it's possible that they were planning for Louie to become playable once you've, you've rescued him. Oh well, let's not dwell on that too much. I think we shall start out in the tropical wilds. That's where we have the most missing fruit. So, let's land. Okay, starting off here. I'm going to give Alf 20 winged Pikmin and 10 blue Pikmin. And... Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, uh, change of plan. 50 reds. 50 rocks. Okay. Glad I saw that before it ate any Pikmin. 
First off, let's take out this Hermit Cromad. Uh, please don't drown. And now it's your turn, Whip Tongue Bulborp. For the eyes, and you're golden. Okay. Now I'll put these Pikmin back. And now Alpha's gonna take 20 wings and 10 blues. Pikmin dig underground. And Brittany is going to take just 10 winged Pikmin and head over this way. Sounds like Alves discovered the, the bomb rocks I needed. And now Charlie needs, uh, I think, 15 reds, uh, 20 wings, 10 rocks, and Fifteen blues. Uh, I don't think I need that many blues. There we go. And Charlie is going to head over this way. Oh, did I already? And they're not going to be able to grab that, are they? Okay. I'm going to need to remember to cut back later. I'm not sure why that cherry is in the water when it should be on that little island. But hopefully that won't be too much of a problem. All right. First, I want to set Alf going in the right direction. Uh, wherever the right direction may be. It's this way. Okay, so I'm gonna leave 10 winged Pikmin and charge them up to that fruit. They intend for you to send blue Pikmin on that climbing stick. This climbing stick right here, but you can just use the OP-ness of winged Pikmin. And I'm pretty sure... Okay. There's the last one. Uh, those pyroclastic sluches are back. But they shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, skitter leaves aren't going to be a problem. So if you go under here, there's a wall to break down. And I need it done fast, and I don't have a lot of blue Pikmin. So, might as well use the spicy spray. I could use the bomb rock, but I kind of want two for that purpose. Now, there are two flighty joust mates in this room, but I just want to avoid them. And if I can find where the fruit is on the map, I should be fine. 
Uh, yeah, just in case, don't do that. I said don't! Charlie. Got some bomb rocks. Okay, good. They've got that fruit. So, Brittany, just go back with them. And then I guess I can just have her get some blue Pikmin, too. To take... To get the cherry. Okay. First, I need to take out... I need to take out these guys. For once, I don't feel like the Wallywogs will be much of a problem. Okay, Alf's done. No, ah. Ah, great. I'm pressed for time here. Okay, just take two blue Pikmin to grab that cherry. Uh, you, you're fine, you can take that back. In fact, I don't need these reds anymore, so I'll just send them all back. Britain, grab the cherry and go back to base. A lot of puckering blinnos here, and I definitely want them out of the way. There you are. Come on. Okay. Actually, I want to find... Okay, there... Candy pop buds over here. That turned pick that turned them into rock Pikmin. And more over here that turned them into blue Pikmin. Uh sure you can go swimming. Secret file seven. Got the ten Pikmin I need. And here we have the calcified crush blad. And even though he he's similar to a mini boss, the mini boss music doesn't play for whatever reason. Okay, uh I hoped to defeat him with just two bomb rocks, but I got the crystal off him. So that's what's more important. I really don't have the Pikmin to be taking back the corpse. So instead, I'll just let them do that. And this is what you get for stealing the boss corpse. Okay, converted 20 wing Pikmin to 20 blue Pikmin. Oh. Okay, Brittany's going to need some yellows and wings.
and you can meet back up with Captain Charlie. Er, close to where Captain Charlie is. Okay. I just want one bomb rock, Pikmin. And here is the Peckish Aristocrab. Got it to eat a bomb rock, and it's instantly dead. Okay. I have a lot more winged Pikmin than I that I'm going to be need for like the rest of this area, so you can take back that lemon. Hopefully they can get past the... Okay, I think I might actually finish up this area today. Okay, so I'm going to use this bomb rock to get that banana out of the ground instantly. Just enough to... Oh, f for the love of all things. Okay. Alf, just in case, go back to base. <laughs> Rhyming. <laughs> okay. There's a big fruit up here. And there's a trick to getting it easily. You want to line up so that the fruit is just far enough on ca camera. Okay. That's not back yet. Okay, the rock Pikmin will be fine. Going through those guys. Alf, drop everything and get over here. Okay. Brittany? Okay, the rock Pikmin got through without getting without getting put into the ground. And I don't have much of the day left, but it should be enough to do this. Okay. The wing Pikmin's weight don't count, so I can easily throw a yellow Pikmin onto that bouncy mushroom. And onto the elevator block to levitate to levitate, to lift them up. And walking up to this stump is how you would normally get that fruit. But I gotta find this path. Okay, this path can be pretty hard to navigate, but... But, since I have only winged Pikmin, there's no issue. Secret file seven. Ah. Okay. Ultra spicy spray. Destroy this thing. Come on. Hurry up and die. Take back that raspberry. I don't doubt that you have plenty of time to take it back. If you want to break up with these eggs, they have bomb rocks. And nectar. And just for reference, this is where the tunnel exit goes. And got these Pikmin, and the only two left are the ones taking the raspberry back. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
And the Raspberry makes eight. That's everything. If they can just get that back, they're gonna make it. There's not even the 10 second countdown yet. And that is it. We have 100%ed the, the tropical, the tropical, the tropical wilds. All fruits collected. Might as well get a few more, get some more blue Pikmin. There we go. That's everything. We are not coming back here again. Never. Which means no food for you, whip tongue. Hey, didn't I kill you today? You should not be up and walking around. So, as you can see, we hauled in a boatload of juice, a boatload of fruits, I mean, two of which are new. There's the mock bottom, a peach. And, uh, let's see what Brittany has to say on it. So, uh, the, spe the specimen is slightly fuzzy, has a high juice content, has a hearty pit that should travel well back to Kopai. And as a scientist, I cannot and should not remark that it looks almost exactly like a bottom. Hee <laughs> hee. So, uh, the specimen is slightly fuzzy. Uh, that's it. Okay, that's strange. So, might as well speed through this. Got a velvety dream drop. Cupid's Grenade, Searing Acid Shock, Zest Bomb, I wish we'd mixed the lime with the raspberry, that would've, it looks pretty cool, a Slapstick Crescent, or Banana, <laughs> and then the Stellar Extrusion and the Juicy Gaggle are what's left, so for the Slapstick Crescent, oh my gosh, this is delicious, so sweet and comforting. I can imagine a little kid eating... Oh, that looks pretty cool, too. I can imagine a little kid eating just globs of these things. They'll have to be careful around the inedible peel, though. It's extremely slippery and could be a safety hazard. <laughs> Since we're sharing with that hawkitation, everyone's portions are smaller tonight. The captains in particular. Yeah, why feed him? Just let him starve to death. It's not like you need his info on where Olimar is. It's good to build a juice supply like this. We should be alright for a little while. Actually, they already got his info, so... <laughs> 67 days worth of juice left, and that's day 16. And we gained quite a few blue Pikmin. Lost... We didn't... L no Pikmin died, but we did lose several winged Pikmin as karma for them stealing the quaggled Myerclops' brain from the blues. 30 pick total. But our numbers are looking really good. Red and winged are over 200. And blues just broke 100. A16. Careful observation of the blue Pikmin has revealed that they have the ability to swim, as well as attack in the water. The way they open their mouths is so cute, but I think that is their way of extracting oxygen from the water. There appear to be openings on their cheeks that resemble gills. Brittany. So, next time on Pikmin 3, we're going to return to the other areas of PNF 404 in search of even more fruit. See ya then.